and welcome to News Channel 8, I'm Junior Garcia, and here are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. BMV Miss Federal Deadline, New Vitrin Buses Arrive, and Summer Fun Series Hits the Green. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. Channel 8 News is brought to you by R3D to help balance your quality of life, a blend of herbs and phytonutrients to help support joint health. Learn more at 1-800-655-6932, R3D. In tonight's top story, Director of the Virgin Islands Bureau of Motor Vehicles, Jerris Brown, recently testified before the Committee on Finance about the BMV's missed federal deadline due to inadequate funding. February 2014 was the last date that all states and territories were supposed to meet this Real ID Act. We failed to meet it. We inform and we prove to the Department of Homeland Security that and us, we do, along with other states, what progress we have been making. For example, we are making sure the citizens show that they, they, they legally live in the United States. That's why when you come to the, to the BMV, you must show a document that you're legally here. You must show two documents, different documents showing your physical address. You must also show a social security card or other substance, you know, some alternative document. That is the, the cornerstone of the, of, this, of the requirements. There are other requirements we have not met. New tonight, the long-awaited arrival of new Vitran buses in the territory is finally over. The 10 heavy-duty buses recently arrived at a price tag of $4.7 million, which was paid for by the Federal Highway Administration. Both St. Croix and St. Thomas will receive four buses each, while St. John will receive two. The territory is also slated to receive an additional 12 smaller buses in the future. Those are much welcome in addition to the local public transit system. With the ongoing violence that is plaguing the community, Channel 8 is committed to spreading the word to help solve these crimes. Here is Ashley Messiah with your weekly Crime Stoppers report. Good evening, everyone. This is Ashley Masai reporting your weekly Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers empowers you to make your neighborhood safer by reporting information while remaining totally anonymous. We understand that some people are skeptical as to how we keep you anonymous. Visit www.crimestoppersusvi.org and click on how it works. If you know something, say something, as law enforcement cannot control crime without your help. Even the smallest bit of information may be just what is needed to solve these cases. St. John, on July 18th at about 5.30 a.m., police received that a man assaulted and robbed in the area of Woody's. The victim stated that when a male asked him for money, he refused and he was struck with a stick. His black backpack containing his Samsung Galaxy, black wallet, and $150 was stolen. He had several bruises and concussion that required medical attention. St. Thomas on Tuesday, July 30, 2013, a woman discovered her wallet was missing. She last had her wallet while in the Paragon Medical Building. The footage captured from security camera the day before at 3.31 p.m. shows an unknown female at the Louis Vuitton store in Yatch Haven Grand. It was verified that a woman in black and white clothing purchased merchandise with the victim's lost credit card. Help police identify the female in the footage. St. Croix, at about 3.20 p.m. on Tuesday, July 21st, three people were shot. 19-year-old Eddie Harriet Jr. and two companions. Mr. Harriet Jr. eventually succumbed to his injuries. The reasons for this incident lies with the shooter and the young victim. Assist us and send a clear message that we want the violence to end because too many of our young men are dying needlessly. Police needs your help to put an end to these crimes. 
Please report anyone who might be buying or selling valuable takings in any burglary or robbery. Step up. Be a part of the solution. Continue to help make our islands a safer place to live and visit by telling us what you know about these or any other crimes at www.crimestoppersusbi.org or by calling 1-800-222-TIPS. That's 1-800-222-8477. Or you can text USVI plus your message to crimes at 276437. All three of these methods are anonymous. This is Ashley Messiah with your weekly Crime Stoppers for News Channel 8. And remember, if you see something, say something. Thank you, Ashley. Stay tuned. We have more news right after this. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. Welcome back to News Channel 8. A government official in Trinidad is under fire for his role in a corrupt sports program that taxpayers say have cost them millions of dollars. Here is Cynthia Graham with your nightly Caribbean report. Thank you, Junior. Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister has shut down the country's controversial life sport program following the results of an audit which uncovered the ministry's inability to account for millions of dollars in taxpayers' money. Now, a campaign calling for the removal of Trinidad's sports minister, Anil Roberts, is heating up online. The Change.org petition is asking Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissasser to immediately revoke Roberts's ministerial portfolio. The audit revealed a number of discrepancies, including the involvement of some persons in criminal activities, theft of equipment, and other criminal acts. The program was intended to provide at-risk youth with alternatives to a life of crime through sports. Roberts maintains his innocence. The bodies of two Guyanese fishermen reportedly killed by pirates washed ashore on Monday, prompting other fishermen to urge local authorities to provide more protection for those that fish. Police said the decomposing bodies of the two men, ages 36 and 22, were discovered a week after armed pirates allegedly attacked and killed five fishermen while at sea. There were some reports that a third body had also been found, but they have not been confirmed by police. The men were scheduled to remain at sea for 12 days on the vessel Ms. Sima, which was found abandoned on July 25th. And finally tonight, when it comes to the film industry, places that generally come to mind are Hollywood, New York, or Monstrat. Yes, Monstrat. Oscar-nominated filmmaker Ben Zietlin says Monstrat has natural assets that can be the foundation of building a lucrative film industry. Monstrat has seen an increase in the number of film crews and news agencies coming to the island to produce documentaries, features, and even reality shows. However, the island does not have an established process to deal with inquiries, which could ultimately use film production as a promotion tool for the island. Zitalin, the Oscar-nominated director for Beast of the Southern Wild, has been visiting Monstrat since last September in preparation for his next feature film expected to begin production in 2015. And this has been tonight's Caribbean Report. I'm Cynthia Graham. We'll be back here tomorrow to bring you more news and views from in and around the Caribbean. Back to you, Junior. Thank you, Cynthia. Moving along, the Virgin Islands Housing Finance Authority is inviting the public to a special open house tomorrow for the unveiling of The Meadows. It's the newest development on St. Croix. Here is Housing Authority Representative Nina D'Souza 
with the details. The Virgin Islands Housing Finance Authority would like to invite the general public to the grand opening of our latest affordable homeownership initiative on the island of St. Croix, the Meadows at Estate Banis Perens. This event is being held tomorrow, Thursday, July 31st from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The event will showcase our first home that was built through the Buy a Lot Build a Home program, which was launched in 2013. Their grand opening ceremony will begin at 11 a.m. and it will recognize newly closed homeowners, as well as provide a tour of the first completed home. Tours will be provided from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Attendees will have the opportunity to tour the site as well as to select from available lots. Contractors will also be on site to share unique home designs for two and three bedroom homes. So don't you miss it. Tomorrow, Thursday, July 31st from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Meadows Estate Bonus Perens. For more information, please contact the Virgin Islands Housing Finance Authority at 772-4432. Again, 772-4432. Unlocking the door to affordable housing. More news straight ahead. This newscast has been sponsored by Mario's Virgin Crystal. Let us save you the hassle of lugging those jugs around. Purified bottled water conveniently delivered to your home or office. Also available in your favorite grocery store. Call 773-2810. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And finally tonight, as Channel 8 is nearing the end of its summer fun series, we took our cameras to the scenic Carambola Golf Course to spend the morning with officers and budding golfers of the Police Athletic League. Once more, here is Cynthia Graham, out on the green. Today we are at the lovely Carambola Golf Course right here on the beautiful island of St. Croix and we are going golfing. I am hanging out today with the Police Athletic League. Uh, the youngsters are here and they're on the putting green and the driving green. And we're going to go hang out with them and talk with Officer Leibert and uh, see what's going on. Join me. I'm joined by Officer Gail Leibert of the Police Athletic League. Officer Leibert, thanks so much for inviting Channel 8 to come out and hang out with the kids today. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about um, PAL, Police Athletic League, and what you guys have been doing uh, for kids in the community for all these years. The Police Athletic League has two locations. We have one in Christiansted in Estate Richmond, where I'm located, and we also have one in Estate Wim, which is run, which is run by Mr. Rookie Jackson. Um, for the last week, for last week, I had Mr. Fitzroy George came out and introduced the campus of the Christiansted PAL program to the Gulf of Game. I want to show the kids that there are more to sports than baseball, basketball, football. This is another avenue that if they enjoy, they can play it after PAL is over, and hopefully they'll get real good at it that they can get a scholarship and go to college playing golf. Excellent. So how many youngsters you think we have out here today? And exactly, um, well, what's happening behind us right now? What are these youngsters doing right behind us? Right now, the campus are with Mr. George, and they're on the putting range right now, practicing what they were taught last week. They grip their stance, learning how to do their strokes, and they're just playing a little pickup game of putting. Right now, we have uh, 30 campers that are participating in the sport of golf. We have a total of 69 campers that are registered this year at the PAL program in Christiansted. Great. And I know that uh, we're winding down the summer. Your, your, your camp is closed for the summer at this point. But what can people do to get involved in Police Athletic League for next summer? Well, besides the summer camp, both locations also offer after-school program. If anybody is interested in making contact with the PAL program, they can call the Crime Prevention Bureau at 773-6393, and they can talk to myself, Officer Leibert, or I can give them a contact number for Mr. Jackson. I am joined by Mr. Fitzroy George, a golf instructor for St. Croix Junior's Golf Summer Program. Mr. F uh, George, thanks for being here with us today. Now, we were uh, uh, looking at you uh, in instructing the kids. What were you teaching them out there? Basically, we were teaching them the fundamental of putting, where it consists of the grip, the stance, and the stroke itself. And as you're doing these um, instructions, I, I wonder, is it more about, um, is it more than golf? What is it that you're trying to instill in these youngsters? Um, 
character building. All right, well, I am here on the green with Azani and Kalia, and these youngsters have been on the putting green today. Is that correct, Azani? Yes. What have you been doing today? We've been practicing with the putters on the green, and we've been doing a little challenges. What challenges you've been getting into? Like uh, putting a ball in a hole, hitting a ball far as you can, and that's that's it. And uh, well, t well, tell me what challenges you've been getting into. Well, sometimes we'll do competitions, and it'll be fun. Well, we have had fun hanging out with the youngsters of the uh, Police Athletic League here at Carambola Golf Course. It's been a wonderful time. And even though the um, uh, PAL will be wrapping up in a few weeks, the golf course is open for you guys to come and enjoy and learn to golf. I'm Cynthia Graham reporting for News Channel 8. That was a very impressive swing. And if you saw that, you probably saw Cynthia almost this close to making a hole in one. Maybe next time, Cynthia. But for more information, please contact the Police Athletic League for more on its year-round activities at 340-773-6393. Again, that number is 340-773-6393. Stay with us. We have your weather coming up next. Your weather coming up next. Your weather. And here's a look at your local weather. Tonight, expect isolated showers, partly cloudy with a low of 69. Chance of rain, 20%. On Thursday, there'll be isolated showers, but mostly sunny with a high near 82. On Thursday night, there'll be scattered showers, partly cloudy with a low around 70 degrees. Chance of rain is 30%. On Friday, there'll be scattered showers, mainly before noon, mostly sunny with a high near 82. On Friday night, there'll be more isolated showers expected, mostly clear with a low around 72 degrees. On Saturday, isolated showers, then scattered showers and thunderstorms afternoon. Chance of rain, 40%. On Saturday night, scattered showers and thunderstorms again, mostly cloudy with a low around 71 degrees. On Sunday, there'll be scattered showers and thunderstorms, partly sunny with a high near 83. Chance of rain is 40%. On Sunday night, isolated showers, partly cloudy with a low around 72 degrees. This is Alexis Barnes with your Channel 8 News Weather. Thank you for tuning in. That's all we have for local news. Do not forget to like us on Facebook at WSVI CHA. And now you can also follow us on Twitter at WSVI TV News. And be sure to subscribe to Channel 8 on your YouTube at WSVI-TV News Channel 8. Watch us on your computer, plus use the free Dish Anywhere app to DVR us and see us anywhere in the world on your smartphone or a tablet. I'm Junior Garcia, and World News is up next. Good night, Virgin Islands. Channel 8 News is brought to you by R3D to help balance your quality of life, a blend of herbs and phytonutrients to help support joint health. Learn more at 1-800-655-6932. R3D.